Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm making a little charm, a dangle, I don't know, keychain-ish thing, right? So I gathered up a few things. I got a keychain ring, a key ring, I should say, and I did put um, a lobster claw on top of it, too. Like, I put that, like, just as the option. You can have the option. Got a piece of, about, I think I did it about six inches. No, five inches. And this is just from um, BJ, ugh, BJ's, Michael's, um, B Landing. Um, and it's not silver or anything, it's just chain, but I like the gauge of the, of the chain. And I have a couple charms. This is just my little uh, Made With Love charm. It's a little lock and key. I like to put that on stuff. And then these are my Shrinky Dink charms that I made. Um, I've got a couple flowers. And I've got a couple of hummingbirds. I have two little flowers too. So we'll see how this kind of comes together. I'm going to use my needle nose pliers and just open some jump rings. Jump rings are uh, the split rings, I guess you would call it. And I'm going to put, I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to put the biggest flower on the bottom and just close the jump ring. And then I'm just going to build from there. Let's see. Um, I, as well, I may as well. I have a bigger jump ring for the um, split, the big key ring up top. So I'll put that on top. And then I'm just going to start building the design. It might be a little long. I think it is a little long. I think I don't want it to be that long. I think I'm going to do it. But see, I just want everything to fit on here, but I do want them to dangle together. So, um, I think I may end up taking some of them off. Or taking some chain off. I'm going to put the big guy down here and the little guy up here. But I kind of wanted them to overlap. That was my feeling. So I think I'm going to go with about this much chain. Now this is just my eye, what my eye sees as um, the way I want, because you could absolutely use this much chain. Nothing says you can't use that much chain. But for what I'm thinking, I'm just going to leave this that, uh, leave that to the side for a sec and just see how this is going to come together. I just want to put that back together. All right, so that's my biggest flower. I'm gonna, I'll zoom back up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to start at building. I want my big hummingbird. I think I'm going to put him, and then I'm going to put, so I'm going to put the little flower um, next to the big flower. These are all Shrinky Dink charms. I'm not using anything other than that um, on this one. And the thing is, your charms hang, depending on where you loop it on to the chain, they may hang frontwards or backwards or, you know, so I kind of want some to shoot forward and some not and some... So it's, I'm just going to put it together and see what happens. And to open a jump ring, you just push forward and back. You don't pull apart. You go forward and back. I put the little hole on that wing. So let's see. I have, I'm skipping. I'm going to skip every other link I'm going to do. Let's just see how that goes. So we have... That, this is so light. That's one thing about the Shrinky Dinks. They're definitely going to be light. So I think I'm going to do my next biggest flower next. And go every other, what did I say? Every other link. So skip that one and put it in here. And then I'm going to do... The next hummingbird. These are the hummingbirds I stamped onto the Shrinky Dink paper using uh, Stays On ink 
and then I colored them up with uh, Sharpies and my Jelly Roll pens. But the stamp itself is a Stampendous stamp. And they actually start out pretty big. They're not huge. I mean, the flowers I just freehanded. I freehanded those from um, about like a three inch circle. Yeah, these are going to have trouble staying straight, I think. But let me finish it and we'll just see. This is the first one I've ever made with shrinky dinks. So I don't know how they're going to hang. I just love these flower charms. They turned out so cute. They're so blingy with them. Um, the gel pens really bling it out because I'm using the Stardust gel pens, which are glitter. I'm using the Moonlight ones, which are kind of like um, fluorescent. And then I, I just use them all, whatever ones. So this is, I have one more charm. So this might be even still a little bit too long. I'm just going to put this last little flower. Oh wait, I have my um, lock and key. I'll put that at the very top. So if I skip one, then it's this one. Well, I don't mind how it looks actually. It's hard for you guys to see it the way it hangs. I actually kind of like the way it's hanging. I'll have to shoot that from the front in a minute. I'm going to put the Made With Love charm together. I think I got the little hearts at Joann's and the keys at Michael's, these little tiny keys. And I just put them together on a jump ring and I'll put that every other one right here. I'm going to take a couple actually three more links off this yeah there's well four I'm gonna take it apart right here just this chain actually you can just open the jump open the links so I'll just take that and then I'm gonna attach this piece to the top of that chain but I'm just gonna remove wait a minute where's the Remove this piece of chain and put this top one in. It is a cute little charm chain. That actually is cute. Like, I'm going to take my camera down. I'll be right back. All right, just real quick, but this is how it hangs. So that's not bad. I actually think it's kind of cool because definitely some of the stuff faces forward at different times but it's very light it looks cute and so one of the video the video <coughs> excuse me I mentioned in a previous video that someone was a fan of Zelda the video game and so they had printed out um, the characters um, onto the the uh, uh, shrinky dink the shrink plastic and colored them up and made keychains out of them. So that's perfect for customizing whatever whatever you love. You could put it on the shrink wrap, shrink it, and make your own little charms, right? Shrink wrap, shrink plastic. So I love it. I think it turned out cute. I think it's adorable, and you could just put it on um, anything. All right, I'm going to go away because I'm going to be done because this is a bad shot. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.